Hey, what's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst dates I can find. And like always, guys, a favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is pretty insane. This woman on the show is an alpha female. Honest. And the type of person I am, I have big mama energy, and mm. I'm a big dominant. And it's, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I, I wish I understood what that meant. So. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's like I'm a person that like power mm -hmm. and I carry along like alpha men energy. Mm -hmm. I'm an alpha female that's also in tune with my divine feminine and masculine energy. So. What are you even trying to say? I'm somehow more confused. Yeah, the entire show is absolutely confused and she's not making any sense at all. But also, imagine if a man said, hey, I'm a bit too feminine. I wonder if you could handle that. Don't you think that would come off as a bit unattractive? Guys pop their balloons to reject the girl. Now say your best pickup line to all these guys. All right, cool. So I'm tomboy girly, so I can be your bro and your girl to you. God damn. So why did you put your balloon? She even took my line. Well, firstly, you being an artist is good. Speak up. God damn. You don't even know me to think if I'm jai, bro. Speak up. I can hear you, bro. You're just too hood for me. Yeah. Me, I can't right, have someone fine. being a guy as that's well, bro. Fine. I need a girl, not a guy, bro. That's and also, that's fine. your outfit is not given as well, man. Okay. Like, it's given for me, so that's what I care about. Anyways, we move. Yeah, once again, this woman is just trying to act like an absolute man. Men are just not attracted to this. It's not confident. And to be honest, she's also very rude. Like, no wonder you're on the show. Tell me your worst Tinder date story. I'll start. Um, so I'm talking to this girl on Tinder, and we're actually having a really good conversation. And so we decided to meet up and I know you shouldn't meet up for like nice dinners, but it was going well and she wanted to try this new place. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just do it. So we go there and she shows up with like a guy and I'm like, what's up? Like, who's this? Your interpreter? Like, what the f And she's like, oh, like this is my date. And I'm bamboozled because I'm like, I'm your date. And she goes, well, I wanted it to be like a three way kind of thing. And I'm like, what the hell? And I'm just not the kind of person that like can just get up and leave when I'm already like in front of someone. So I stayed through the dinner. It was very awkward. She thought we were both gonna like date her and be her boyfriend at the same time. And at the end, she like hands me the check and she's like, do you just wanna grab this? What? Now, I really hope this guy didn't pay. However, this guy should have just left the date immediately. Like, are you a simp? Are you an idiot? This girl is literally taking advantage of you while she actually has a real date with the other guy. You're just some kind of sugar daddy, I guess. Your top you in the room, bro. Talking to you. <laughs> One, two, and... So, Gianna, Grace, and then who else? I choose Denise, because I think Denise is pretty too. You don't, clearly don't like darker skinned girls. <laughs> <laughs> You're shorter than me, so we probably would be friends. <laughs> the pale one over there. Ladies, this is his preference. Oh, I don't care about his preference. I just she literally just hides him like, oh, I'm sorry, you're five eight, so he's friends just only. Are you upset about it? No, why would no. I be upset about but, it? But no, he's not upset about it. But it seems like you're upset about him choosing white girls. Yeah, but I don't understand it. I don't even understand why there is a comparison. Well, it is a comparison because they're both preferences. So it seems like he's shamed for having his preferences. Okay. He like white chicks. Okay. Right? Yeah. Your preferences, you don't want short guys, right? Uh-huh. And he didn't shame you for your preferences. But you shamed him for his preferences. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, I guess this idiot really thinks that if she shames a man, he'll still be more attracted to her. You're shaming him on something he can't control. But when it's your turn, you're super upset. Like, it's kind of confusing how basic logic doesn't work with them. That one, Mary, I have to say. But if, if you just keep an eye on, well, maybe not that, but, uh, Yeah. I know. Let me get the mic. Why? Because girls are on top. Nobody wants to see a boy on TV. This is about hockey, not girls. This is about girls that like hockey. Cringe, cut it. Just cut it off. Yo, some women are absolutely so bold for doing this. One day she's going to be touching a man who's just not going to hold back. So how would you cater to me? If you were my husband. When I'm your husband. Every way possible. There wouldn't be a second dog wouldn't cater to you. I'd be fast. You would be. You could wake up at three in the morning and ask me to make you food and I will get out of bed and I will make you food. There is nothing I wouldn't do because you are my partner and I am the woman. I wouldn't ask you to clean. I wouldn't ask you to cook. I wouldn't ask you for anything domesticated because that is my part as a woman, me personally, how I believe before anyone starts sending. Which would mean my part would be for you? To provide and protect. 
I love you it. provide, you look after the household, you make sure I'm safe always, you make sure the children are safe always, and I will make sure you're, you don't have to worry about anything else. What an absolute beautiful response. Now, anytime a man actually asks a woman, hey, what do you bring to the table? This is the only and most perfect response a woman can get. Fellas, unfollow those Instagram models. Just do it. There's no reason you should still be following Livy Dunn, Summer Ray, all these IG models that you never gonna see, bro. You're not gonna meet them. They're not gonna answer your DMs. No matter how many times you comment on their posts, they're not gonna acknowledge you. So why are you still following them, bro? Even if you're a single man, what you still doing following them IG models? It don't serve you no purpose. It's just distracting you from your own goals, bro. Just go ahead and follow them. Yeah, guys, if you guys are still following women, it's just childish. Looking at that kind of stuff constantly is the same thing as like following OnlyFans girl models. You're just giving these women unnecessary attention. And to be honest, it really shows how much you can control yourself and your urges. And I wasn't doing anything for it. Like, I wasn't like, oh, like, let me, for like some cash. Like, I literally would just be like, Please, and they'd be like, "Oh, you're hot, whatever, you know." Okay, then ain't no ain't no female single by choice. Put them y'all that. Ooh. Nah, I'm on my. That's what I'm saying. Who's in America? Between me and future. All right, what is it? I don't the money? To, no, 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 no. I don't have to. The game. Hold on, okay. Make a the money on me. Okay. I'm off the next what's the what's the what's the most amount of? Hold on, hold on. Let me ask some right? questions. I just want to make sure we on the same page. Well, what's the most amount of money I than you? Mm. Um, okay. I would say 70 bands. Okay, my friend. <laughs> Don't play with her. <laughs> Why y'all walking away? Y'all on y'all? Yeah, what kind of simp is doing this to her? I don't care if that guy's a billionaire. I don't care if $70,000 means absolutely nothing to him. It's the principle. Why are you giving a woman this amount of money for something so simple? Like, there's a reason why OnlyFans girls have such a huge ego because of simps like this in the world. Take care, bro. Your job is to make her secure again. Do you even have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Why would you have a girlfriend? You're giving everybody advice and it's shit advice. So I have to ask. It's shit advice? You got a man? So shut the f up, what the f are you talking about? Yeah, guys, if you guys are going to a fancy restaurant for the first date, don't be surprised if she pulls out her phone like this and starts recording. She's only there just to show it off on social media and not there for you. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. I'm Mariah. Mariah, nice to you. I'm Donish. I'm outside of work and, and whatnot. I like to work out. She is so fine. Hold on, chat. Let me straighten up. Let me straighten up, chat. Oh, I like to travel. I really want to go to, like, Cabo. Yo, you, we can go together. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I just got to see what else. Of course. Up. There's a... <sighs> Yo, chill, man. Yo. Oh, my God. Like, bro, why would you say that? You know what I'm saying? Just because she said she want to go to Cabo don't mean she got she want she want to go with you, bruh. Especially when she just met you. Yeah, guys, I'm not even going to defend this dude. Sometimes it's really important to develop social skills and social cues and understand how to talk to people. When you're coming across like this, I mean, you have to learn the hard way, I guess. I'm not saying this guy isn't a great man or anything. And she rejected him too easily. But some things just shouldn't be said at certain times. Always up for a challenge. So no matter how big something is, it's going in my mouth and I'm swallowing it. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. Happy wedding. Now, guys, I always say comparison is a thief of joy. However, in this case, you really got to step away, look back at your life, and actually take accountability for your actions. Why would women who used to be protected and provided for choose to work and pay taxes instead I have no idea. I'm not one of those women. I, um, I would love to sit pretty and have a man work while I cater to his needs emotionally. Um, I'm not sure. People like to be independent. I understand that. But um, as far as where this dynamic came from, I think it all came back to when women were eventually allowed, allowed the right to work. Um, can't say I'm in full support because, you know, I kind of miss the days where we didn't have to. But, you know. Why would women prefer to be equal rather than be placed on a pedestal? That's a good question. I think when you're speaking in terms of human rights, we all want equal human rights. I think that's natural. Um, but most women, I would argue most women absolutely do want to be put on the pedestal by the man that they love, yeah. Wouldn't equality be a step down for most women? Yeah. So then why do you think women would rather be equal than be placed on a pedestal? Well, you know what? They act like they're equal, but they really want to be placed on a pedestal. 
So it's all an act with women these days, man. Now, yes, a lot of women will say they much prefer going back in time and doing it the old-fashioned way. However, what's wrong with modern-day women nowadays is that they don't even deserve it. At least women in the past had a lower body count, were more feminine, cooked, cleaned, did their motherly wifey roles in the house. But nowadays, it's just a random girl on the street with a high body count bringing no value at all, wanting the exact same thing. And that's what's absolutely frustrating. Ooh. Spit or swallow? Excuse me? Spit or swallow? Oh, punch you in the face. Move you're, away from me. You're gonna punch me in right, the face? No, move away from me. Okay. I am super happy everybody's putting these OnlyFan girls on the spot. It's so disgusting. This is a green screen! You asshole! You two have to tell me each other's like biggest secret. I made out with your ex-boyfriend and I never told you. Who? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> the one I was dating for two years? I bet for 5k, somebody has to pour milk in the head. It's okay, like higher, 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 higher. There we go. More, just do it more, more. This is a green screen! You Now this just pretty much shows what women will do for attention on social media. Even if it's fake, just the opportunity to gain extra clicks and views on the social media accounts, they'll be an absolute idiot. I just watched over a hour, hour and a half of a live, a singles live, you know. They all are saying, a lot, not all, that they are never approached by men. Don't matter how they dress, where they go, different careers, different body types, different looks, everything is different. Are y'all approachable? I ask you again, are you approachable? Are you automatically judging a book by their cover? Do you know how to spark up a conversation but leave space for him to lead? Do y'all know how to do that? Some of that might be why y'all are not being approached. Now, yes, I'm willing to say that women should be more approachable. However, I think the big thing is men are just not interested anymore. I mean, think about it. A man could just hit up a girl on social media, get her better reaction, then boost a girl's ego in person and getting rejected. You think that height matters in a guy? Definitely. But you know they can't control that though, right? I don't give a fuck. I judge based on natural beauty. I got some makeup removing wipes right here. I'm not about to take that shit off. You no. get to choose how much makeup no, you put on. No, get me right. My man's about to pick me up. I'm not about to do that. Dating? Yeah. What's a message to your ex? Is she a rebound? What? No, God, no. Okay. I, it's good for you because, you know, then, like, you don't want to be that, no, no, that never, rebound. Never do you guys talk to your exes? What? No. Nah. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Now, if this guy is really seeing her and trying to take her seriously, I hope he lets her go after this conversation. There is no way you should be talking to anybody in your past. I had a one night stand last night, and let me tell y'all, it was a mandingo. No, no, no. This man had a horse. Okay. It was just real big. Okay. It was real. It was real big. All right. And I told him, I'm like, okay, all right, because because we go together now. <laughs> okay. Like. If we have a sex, we go together. So since we go together, I was like, well, how about you give me an inch a day so I can I can make sure I see you again. <laughs> an inch a day for a week, right? Tell me why I didn't see that man after I only got one inch. Mm. Now, a woman will experience all of this in her past, then suddenly say that body count doesn't matter. You cannot tell me that this experience did not affect her personality or future expectations from the next man. It 1 million percent does, and a woman will always want better. She'll never downgrade this experience ever again, or else, honestly, I think she'll cheat. I'm on a date and I bring a friend, are you paying for them? Repeat it one more time. Oh, 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 I know it's cheap. She had to make a statement. You really didn't hear me for real. Huh? <laughs> now obviously we understand what the answer would have been but absolutely not i'm not paying for your friend at that point you're not interested in me you're just interested in feeding you and your friend
Now, like I said, guys, if you're taking a girl out on a fancy restaurant for the first date, it's a big mistake. You're not taking her there to feed her stomach or show off whatever she wants to show off on social media. You're there to try to get to know each other. But if she somehow manipulates you into really wanting a nice fancy first date, then don't be surprised when a girl does this and pulls out her phone and starts recording everything. And also, don't be surprised if you get ghosted after because she's doing this to a bunch of other men as well. But anyways, that's just my opinion, guys, because that does wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do want more content just like this, please watch the videos. You guys get the top screen. It does my channel a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.